In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up a free digital portfolio on a site called Behance. There's a bunch of different things here when you first sign up, and it could be a little bit intimidating if you're like a novice with a computer. So this is a tutorial for beginners, and it's kind of easy and it's kind of fun. So let's go. Okay, so the internet is weird, and if you've stumbled across this video and you're not even sure what a digital portfolio is, that's okay. I'm going to show you a couple examples here. So Behance is just a free sort of cloud-based, it's like getting a little free website. And what I like about Behance is it's relatively um, clean looking. There's not a lot of ads or anything on it. So here's just an example. This is Gutty, and uh, this is the name of the person's website, and there's just pictures on it. So there's a picture here of this person's colors products looks like a t-shirt mock-up here and it's great it's nice and clean here's another one where this person's got balloon birds and this is a product this person's showing off there's a little video here and there's just videos pictures it's just very straightforward and very clean what i like about these websites is it's very clean here's a web here's a website showing a different gallery so we scroll through and we can see here there's different gallery photos like a art gallery. So again, this is very easy to do. And the reason you would set up a digital portfolio like this is it acts as like a business card. So you could send somebody this link if this was you. And you could say, here's my work. Here's an example of my photography. Here's an example of my t-shirt mock-ups. And then there's a little bit of contact information here at the top and at the bottom of their portfolio so that you can reach out to these people or person and you know if you're trying to sell something so it's a good idea to have a digital portfolio to show off what it is that you're working on so let's jump in and let's set this up first thing you're going to do over on the right hand side is you're going to go into the sign up button now this is run by adobe but i do want to point out behance is completely free there's as far as i can tell there's no ads and there's no subscription so i'm just going to click the sign up button and we'll get started. Okay, so I'm on Behance and I've just logged in and now it's just gonna give me an option here to add my banner image at the top. I've added in a little graphic here for myself and you've got a profile option here where you can edit your profile. I'm just gonna scroll down and at the very bottom here you can see it says create a project and that's what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna click the create a project and now I'm going to get an option. I can add image, text, photo grid, video or audio, and you've got these same options here over on the right hand side as well. So I'm going to click add image and then I'm going to upload some images to the Behance website. Okay, so I've created some images that I drew by hand. Here's an example. I've got some hats that I drew by hand. I'm just going to make them a bit bigger here and I scanned them into Inkscape. So these are like doodles and so I wanted to have my doodles show up in Behance. So there's my hand-drawn circles. So I'm going to add these. I'm going to start with the circles. So I'm going to click circle one and I'm going to click add or open. So now it's uploading. That's my actual hand-drawn circle. So now I'll just click continue over here on the right hand side. And it's going to say, give your project a title. So I'm just going to type in circle one project tag is circle doodle. And then I'm just going to type in here what software was used. I'll type in Inkscape and I'll just say it's uh, graphic design and everyone can see it. Now you can also set this to private if you wanted. Uh, and then you've got all rights reserved. And then you can say, or you can hit publish. So you can save as a draft if you want, but I'm just going to hit publish. Publishing my product, my project. Now I can promote my work if I want, but I'm just going to just close that out. So here's my hand drawn circle, and there it is. So it's pretty straightforward. That's my circle. Now I'm going to add another item to it. So I'm just going to go up here to edit project. And I'm going to add content over on the right hand side. And now I'll just add the rest of the circles. So I'm just going to highlight them all. I'm just hitting the shift key here, highlighting them all and I'll click open. So now it's just loading in the different circles that I've got. They're just different hand-drawn doodles. 
So now we can see as I scroll up, I've got them all here. They're all slightly different and I'll update my project. Okay, so now I've got my project is circles and I've got all of my circles sitting here. It's almost like a little photo album. So when you're back in the main page now, this is my main Behance page, I can scroll down and I can see that I've got my collection here of circles. I, when I click on it, it links to the project and then I can see I've got all my different circles sitting here. So it's like a little tiny room. I'll just click the back button. Now, if I wanna change this, I can go in here and I can edit. And then I can just go in here and update prod project. I could add more images, that kind of thing. If I wanted to change the name of the project, I can just go into settings here on the right hand side and I don't want to call it circle one because I've got all of my circles in there. I'm just going to call it circles. Uh, I'll call it circles and then doodles. And then I will update my project. So now when I'm back on the main page, I can see here when I hover over the circle, it says circles doodles and that's it. So you can create a project, go up on the top right hand side, you can click on image. You can call up an image. So for example, now let's say I want to do hats. So now I'm going to do all the different hats. I'll select them all. It's opening them all up. And then I'll go into settings. I'll give my project a title. I'll call it hats doodles. And I'll say hats doodles graphic design, publish. So it's really fast, like that one. I mean, I did the first one pretty slow, but we can see here, now I've got hats and it's right there now. I've got hats and I've got circles. So I could share this website up at the top, this behance.net. I could share that on Facebook. I could email it to you. I could do whatever. And then you just basically go to this website and you could see the different portfolios that I've got set up underneath. So this is like my little mini portfolio page. Now you will get an ad here. It says try Adobe portfolio. This is a more premium site and you can get started for free, but it is a, a trial. So I'm just going to click not now. You can see that that disappears. So you get one little ad on the page, but other than that though, it's pretty good. You can add a banner, banner image, and then you can also check out other people's portfolios as well. So I hope you found that helpful. Nice little walkthrough. This is really helpful if you want to sell on a website, but you don't necessarily have a huge portfolio set up. You can just set up your portfolio right in here, and then you can just have t-shirt mock-ups. You could have graphic design elements. If you're really good in Photoshop, you can show off that kind of thing in a free website behance.net. Hope you guys found that helpful. As always, feel free to hit the like button, subscribe button. Really appreciate your comments as always. Have a great day guys. Thank you.